it's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Denver Broncos and the New Orleans Saints. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage. Glad you're with us. It's Blake Groupie to get this one started. And off we go here in New Orleans. From his end zone, Marvin Mims. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They'll be let out by their quarterback at 6-2 out of Auburn. It's Jared Stidham. For a brief time, he was thought to be a possible successor to Tom Brady while he was still in New England, but that didn't materialize. But opportunity may still knock for him to start in the NFL today. Definitely has the arm and mobility to make plays against NFL defenses. All he needs now is consistency. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Here's second and ten. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Now it's Stidham. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, three and out to start the game would have been a real disappointment. So this is a nice job of finding something you think will work and executing it. And they're able to keep this opening drive going. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Tyron Matthew showing off a bit on that stop. Really nice tackle for loss. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. Williams going to get it again on second down. Taken down here as it will take us to the end of the third score. We're scoreless after one. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a third down coming up. Now Stidham. is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 34-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Stidham. His throw incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Now a second and ten. Here's Stidham to throw. And this one is incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. 
This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. To throw is Stidham. Down to the ten. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Throwing again here, Stidham. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think we'll see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Now it's Stidham. And that is incomplete here. Good coverage yet again down here by the goal line. Everyone's blanketed, and he's forced to throw it away and try and come up with something on third down. A very lengthy opening drive as this will be play number 12. Coming on third and goal. Stidham. And that will be incomplete as well. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So our initial drive this afternoon results in three. Not sure that that's a statement necessarily, but getting points on the road, never a bad thing. You're exactly right about that. I, I love how you framed it, right? Not sure it's a statement, but at the same time, you're putting something out there, aren't you? Letting them know, hey, we came to play today. Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. And the first possession isn't until the second quarter, but what's nice about it, it's only down three. So what you sell your team on is, look, one possession, one drive, we put it in the end zone. We're in the lead in this game. Let's go, guys. And Thomas has it. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Now Carr. That'll be taken in by Shahid. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Let's ride up. This second and four. To throw, it's Carr. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. 
Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Broncos will take over possession here up at the 44. Well, Charles, you know, it's so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking at it with 20-20 hindsight, though, might have been better to hand it off a few times, hoping to get something to break instead of putting the ball in the air and, of course, putting the ball in jeopardy. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. After the interception, here's Stidham. He'll get this one to Patrick. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Here's second and three. Stidham. Trying to lay one up deep. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Tim Patrick as the first half is winding down. And the Broncos would extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Lutz good on the extra point, and the lead grows to 10 nothing. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports halftime report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. 
And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around, they want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. Yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On second down, Kamara. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 45-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. Offensive line right now really freeing up the rushing lanes on this drive. And we have to give them props. They've earned them. But these big runs that we're seeing, they don't result without everyone else being involved as well. Blocking on the perimeter has to take place downfield too. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Thomas, the man in motion, left. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Here now, third down. Here's Carr. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 15-yard line. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. Carr. And incomplete on the deep ball. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Again from the 15, second and 10. Car to throw. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Now a timeout here, at least for the moment. Looks like one of the Saints is injured, shaken up on that last play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. Now Carr. And he is caught. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Here's first and goal. 
throwing his car. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. A lot of practice time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. Third down and goal. This Denver defense trying to hold up for one more play. Now Carr. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Alex Singleton making the play defensively. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And the Broncos are going to get the ball back on the turnover. They hold on fourth and goal. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust. And unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here. Maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout. And they come up with the interception in the end zone. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. This should be the final piece to the puzzle as Stidham goes down to a knee. Certainly not the highest of scoring games, Charles. Their offense yeah, did some okay things. Not a lot of points on the board, but enough for the win with how their defense was playing in this one. Yeah, they certainly brought their A game, didn't they? They weren't fooled by anything that was presented to them from start to finish. That defense, they might as well have told their offense, guys, just kick a field goal. We've got it today. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more,